the idea was as I understood right I got the storyboard over here as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. title we come down with the camera Zzz, cloudy sky cloudy sky the bridge yes second image the protagonist is standing. watching a desolate gloomy dark landscape sunrise and in a little detail important is he's got sticks in his hand already mm -hmm. This is the uh, Bank Bridge, St. Petersburg, where he's looking over, and the idea was to zoom in on the two uh, Lion Phoenix uh, statues of the bridge. So these need to be detailed, that's why this drawing is bigger, that there is enough detail in this part that you can zoom in from, from the overall view to this thing. That's, that's, uh, I'm just working like we've discussed earlier on. I'll cut the storyboard next to me as well. Yeah. And the stick, I didn't pay attention to the stick. It's here in the hands, okay? Yeah, sure. But the spectator won't notice no, straight not. away. Some alert, maybe because it's going slow, might notice like he's, he's he has something in his hands. Because it's coming back, it's repetition here again. He's got something in his hands. Um, here the idea was to go from left to right with the camera. That's why this is got this odd panoramic shape. That's uh, Liguria. Then again, yeah, well, I took out the face last time because the head was too big, but it's it's pencil, so I'll just put it back on before I start inking. Here you wanted to zoom in on the reflections of the moon. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is a big drawing as well. Then we have uh, the beach in Normandy, Trouville-sur-Mer, um, where you wanted to zoom in on this foot. Where, where actually the action, the development part starts. It's, it's yes, it's important for me. Sure. So those those how many it's the what's the number of this uh, image the six yes six yes so the first five are the exposition so kind of a slow uh, introduction mm -hmm. yes the, okay yes, yeah going, introduction yes, the, yeah and here we are already starting start starting with the development with the movement okay development yes I've noted that on the other storyboard development yes in the yes yes yes, yes development yeah I got. Two storyboards at the moment. The other ones are this uh, obsolete. These ones are one with the correct amount of images and numbering. The other one with these overviews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm shifting between the real drawings and two storyboards. Mm -hmm. So it and it will be actually what is it um, reflected in music layer. It will be reflected, of course, in the text, the development. So, yeah, that's and the here, main thing. In yeah. the visuals, it's even more highlighted. Because yes. We see also the silhouettes of people. Yeah, well, yes. it's an illustration of, of the, the symphony of the uh, poem, of course. So. Well, this is the regular uh, image, no movements. So this is going to be the typewriter. That's why this is the, the original frame size. It's number seven. First step of the sundial. This is where it's obvious why. I mean, this becomes clear why the protagonist is having the sticks in his hand. He's mm -hmm. putting in one stick. This is morning in Normandy. Shade. I've uh, looked it up. And uh, this is a quick view of Normandy. To be sur mer is there. Mm -hmm. So when you have sun in the morning over here, shining this way over the, the beach, goes all the way around. Uh, and in the evening it will be on the left, just to have an idea on what direction to put the shades in. So this is still development. Here is thinking about the writers, overviewing the same. And again there is a kind of a repetition. We see again the silhouettes on the beach, but it's the silhouettes... These are the, the buildings. The buildings, yes? Yes, mm -hmm. these are the, the buildings. These are these yes. shadows. Okay. Shadows of because I wouldn't yes. I wouldn't repeat this 
movement uh, is going to be too much in detail it's going to make a slurry image yeah. and it, i don't think in for your your, your story needs Text that wise it's yes, also not relevant anymore exactly so please let's let's avoid that so we have this second image the sundial is going closely to midday with this position of the shades Mm -hmm. So again, we are developing. Yeah. <laughs> Time-wise, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes. that's, that that was the the idea. Here we're looking at the mansion. There is a repetition of setup, more or less of the thinking about the writers. Mm -hmm. Looking at the mansion, and with the the jet stream, the condens condensation traces of the airplane, like a scarf in the sky. Mm -hmm. So. And we have the and last. Actually, this is the first time when the scarf appears. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's the first time. Then, um, last image of the sundial showing uh, afternoon going to evening mm -hmm. because the sun is, on, is going to the left behind us. Um, 13 here we have the mansion with the circular kind of uh, scarf again yes condensation marks from the airplane mm -hmm. without the writers the idea here is as well to zoom in no to, not to zoom in but to go up from here to where the protagonist is looking to see the detailed circular shape of the condensation mm -hmm. stream of the airplanes this is the first view on the Hermitage, the distress of the protagonist. And the idea here was to zoom out, start from what I remember, start on the protagonist and then zoom out on the Hermitage. Right. Hmm? That's why it's a big drawing again that you can zoom in out as you want. First lips in the sky. Flying as a flock of birds. Overview of the Hermitage, but it's gonna be more this kind of thingy going to the bridge, and the bridge is opening, that the Palace Bridge again. So uh, this, is, this, this part is the recapitulation. Which this is, is the yes. first image of the bridge starting to open. Yes. As you can see, it's just slightly opening up. Mm -hmm. View is. That was your question. How about the view is more or less the same direction? Yes, exactly. As discussed. Next step, the flying lips mm -hmm. needs to be the next step. That's uh, something technically I have to look up for that there is an, an interesting following up in the positions of the lips. It's going to be some trying out that you can have the idea that they're flying around. Worst case, I'll add a comic book kind of arrows, which I try to avoid. I would so like you want to find some poetic reasoning behind the movement or what? <laughs> That's how we discussed it. I'm not trying to find any poetic reasoning <laughs> behind your Russian, because I only heard uh, really weird sounds that you call language. <laughs> uh, voilà. Second step of the bridge. Oh, wait, turning around then. Uh, one, two. So, not uh, coming from this camera position, turning around uh, to more sideways view on the bridge. The bridge is opening up. And then again, third view. But technically, I think we need, I need to put these two pillars further away from each other because if the bridge closes like this it's not realistic there's something in the proportions not right yet so opening up opening up more mm -hmm. and opening up even more and here you can see the boat left through the bridge mm -hmm. and then you can zoom into or to the more abstract image uh, and this is number 20. Mm -hmm, the last one. Perfect. Yeah. There will be sky here, but it's it's this is limited because you you film here and yeah. then and then go to the bridge. You can zoom in a bit to the bridge. 
to get the bridge on the same size of this so you can pan zoom in you can pan and then zoom into the bridge mm -hmm. uh, to get the same size this is an important thing you need to keep in mind but I'll, I'll go to the technical things as well to have the narrative in images uh, if you film this you should zoom in and the amount of zoom the 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 distance from the camera to the image here should be exactly the same as for this one and the last one mm -hmm. to uh, enhance the repetition to make sure it's uh, narratively image wise powerful enough so it might be even in more interesting to film it the opposite way film this one mm -hmm. exactly in frame this one you can edit when you want same position of the camera and then film this one and instead of zooming in yeah and then from this one zoom out and go through the panoramic view and then just reverse this following up that mm -hmm. you start with the camera over here go there and then you know for sure that this this and the next one will be in the exact uh, wrong following up exactly. in the exact frame mm -hmm. angle and then you can add the lips in between so you have this strong following up of, of images which you will need to to uh, to have this continuation continuity sorry continuity of the image mm -hmm. that's the important thing you need to keep an eye on it's it's just basic images and animation it's not even animation it's it's basic images but the continuation will be very important otherwise even with these basic images it won't work visually as we pan I'm, I mean I realized this when I was trying out with putting some images one behind the other. So actually we are following your principle when you were doing the drawings in clusters, let's say, uh, when uh, filming, yes? Yes, I would, I would advise to do that, yes. To, 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 to really respect those clusters with the camera, the camera on a very technical and, 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 and very precise way to that continuity will be important here otherwise you will have an, an, an amount of interesting images one after the other mm -hmm. but to provoke this uh, effect of animation that continuity will be very important mm -hmm. in a real animation when you got uh, stop motion and image after image after image it will only work if the images are perfectly framed and timed one after the other in the exact position the timing is always perfect framing is always perfect then you will create the illusion of movement with still images the whole concept of filming on pellicula image after image after mm -hmm. image mm -hmm. uh, is not enough it needs to be perfectly framed timed and positioned to create this illusion of movement and with these 20 images you can create an illusion of time hardly movement but of time um to 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 tell to, to illustrate your story so we come from a very dark sky with the opening title the main theme mm -hmm. on the clouds on the dark clouds going down to the lighter image but you don't see it as a lighter image just going into the view on the palace bridge then the story continues and at the end you'll have only this yes. only focusing on the light part so people won't see the gloomy heavy part of the clouds anymore of the Perfect. dark sky anymore Perfect. and then the the main important question for me stays like if you have this this is the last image you might have like a credentials uh, where you were talking to zoom in on a specific part of the image that would be good for me to know what part you might zoom in to go into detail on this one to end the, the poem yeah, as you remember i wanted just to follow <clears throat> the trace of the sheep and go between the okay but that's the only way you can do that is by zooming in yes because following the trace will be if you've got this image of the bridges in following the earlier images or i need to make this a big plate um, a big image again so you should for the the continuity respect this size to start with 
and then starting from this size you want to go in to this movement yes just follow the shape yes and so that's so actually starting from this because you have to start for this for continuity yes, yes. to respect that third yes, image yes. actually the fourth image because the first very first is this one already the first one. Mm -hmm. so but in this sequence uh, it's the third one it's the third so you can zoom in here going through the horizon that's actually the skyline from st petersburg in the back mm -hmm. that's that's that and then those are the limitations i see technically in 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 this situation now with your with, with the story and with the the yeah. and then it, it it will be already depending on dieren to decide if he wants to do it live zoom or in post-production yeah it will, okay we will see with him yes because of course now i would say my preference is live zooming and that i guess that he will do several but shots then you're limited the zoom. moment you start editing and then he will do just without zoom zoom several one, frames yes one, one picture in order take, to take one picture, picture yes. that you can if Play the live zoom does not work at all in your editing you can still do it digitally afterwards mm -hmm. in, in post-production yes. you can zoom into where you want the uh, the limitations you have with uh digital zooming is that you um enlarge the amount of pixels uh, pixels virtually i mean you can stay in focus but it's an artificial focus because if you film full frame you have an amount of pixels from the image on the sensor that he's using me to 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 register the image if you enlarge in this frame digitally afterwards he cannot invent pixels that are not there so he's going to double up pixels so that means that it you're limited uh, and, and and you you might not get an out of focus but an artificial focus if you zoom in too much on an existing image mm -hmm. uh, you see what i mean yes yes so that's the limitation you will have with virtually zooming which you need to keep an eye on. Otherwise, I mean, you will lose detail on a certain moment. Mm 